Apple is joining the race for triple cameras, and we don't even want to know what this is going to cost. Samsung is apparently working at its own VR and bringing new screens to the table. And it looks like if we'll have to wait for the OLED iPhones to make it until next year, I guess. I'm Jaime Rivera, and uh, look at yesterday's comments. If I had to count a dollar for every time people complain about the notch, oh my god, I'd be making lots of money. This is Pocket Now Daily. The official news today begin with deals. If you're in the market for the LG V30S, thank you. Uh, I didn't say thank you, don't worry. Uh, well, it was 930 bucks on B&H, it was crazy. Uh, now it's 630. That is a huge discount. Uh, it's a good phone for content, con sorry, content creation, I would say. Uh, you can learn more about it in the description. Now, for those of you that have noticed that the ambient always on display of the OnePlus 6 has disappeared, it has everything to do with the software update that was recently pushed over battery issues, uh, which I'm still trying to figure out as I actually don't have any issues with my unit so far. Uh, but yeah, let us know in the comments if you've had any problems. So far, battery life on the OnePlus 6 for me has been great. Now let's talk about iPhones and OLED screens. Most of the rumors have claimed that those three iPhones that we should expect later this year are all going to be OLED. But according to some trusted sources now, we are getting an LCD iPhone in the middle. When it comes to the price range, apparently, the whole concept of going OLED will happen, but until next year. Why? We'll see. Now, even though a lot of people want a Gear VR, I'm one of those people that actually doesn't really use it over the cumbersome experience of putting the phone on and then, you know, everything that goes afterwards. Uh, we feel that the biggest issue with VR has been that, just the cumbersome experience to get it to work. Samsung apparently is joining LG and Google's efforts and bringing us a crazy amount of PPI on a display to go full steam ahead with VR. 1200 PPI is apparently the display that Samsung's been showing off. Uh, it seems that there are up to three displays that the company wants to work on to get this off the ground. Is this the future of the Gear VR? We hope. Uh, we just hope that also like the process of setting it up gets better as well. And finally, the most interesting news today have to do with uh, the iPhone of 2019 as well. Uh, we don't know what it's going to be called, but we've been hearing rumors that we're getting three cameras on this phone, and this time we hear it from a more trusted source. Why would we want three cameras? Apparently, Apple wants to work on a few things, uh, bringing 3x optical zoom, which we currently already have on the uh, P20 Pro from Huawei. Apparently, there will be this new 3D approach to photography, which will enable certain benefits. Uh, which we're hoping are not going to be gimmicks, because as much as I like portrait mode on the iPhone X, I don't ha like having to stand back to take a photo. I feel that to be the most cumbersome experience ever. Uh, so in today's question, let us know. I mean, three cameras, the Huawei P20 Pro, probably the iPhone 11 or whatever it's going to be called. Do you prefer that approach or do you prefer Google's approach with the Pixel 2 where you just get one camera that's able to do everything? In my case, I honestly, I prefer Google's approach so far. Uh, I love what the P20 can do, but not because it has three cameras. It's mainly because of that 40 megapixel sensor on one of the cameras. Uh, but leave us a comment down below. We'd love to know your opinion. Friends, again, if you want to get the news earlier, follow us on PocketNow.com and subscribe to our channel by hitting this button up here. You can watch yesterday's PocketNow daily up here and our thoughts on the OnePlus 6 camera down here. You can also follow me on Twitter, Jaime underscore Rivera, on Instagram at Jaime Rivera. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I'm Jaime Rivera. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you tomorrow.